16 year old Sky Tuck boy had a stroke, but was still able to call 911 before it was too late. Now, as parents tell News on Six's Brooke Griffin, they want other people to know the warning signs of a stroke so they might also save their lives. Brooke? Well, Mason Teague's parents tell me on June 22nd that day began like any other day, but quickly turned into one of the worst days of their lives. Now they want to educate people on what happened to their son in hopes that it can save other lives. Almost 70 days ago, 16-year-old Mason Teague was working out alone at the gym when he suffered a brain bleed called an AVM rupture, causing him to have a stroke. 911, what's the address of your emergency? Hey, I passed, I'm dying. Where you at? Uh, Eastside Fitness Center. Eastside Fitness Center, what's, what's going on? That 911 call was the last time Mason was able to speak. His mom, Amanda, says he was fine just 15 minutes before. The last words I heard my son say to me were, I love you, mama. I'll see you in about an hour. Justin and Amanda tell me Mason complained of headaches the week of the rupture, but they had no idea that headache would change their lives. Since that day, his parents say he has been in and out of consciousness. He is very well aware of what is going on. You can see the emotion on his face. Mason is making progress every day, and his parents say that he will get to come home in October, but will still be 100% disabled and needing full-time care. For now, they say every step forward is documented and celebrated. When, when he's done with this, we want to show him how hard he fought and how we celebrated every little accomplishment of his. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're encouraging others to learn about AVMs, just in case their loved one is showing signs too. There is a rupture every 18 seconds worldwide. They say if they would have known to take the headache seriously, they could ask for scans or tests to prevent the rupture. And his parents and first responders tell me that Mason's quick thinking of calling 911 is while he, why he is still here today. And they hope by watching Mason's story, they won't hesitate to call for help when something is wrong. Brooke Griffin, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.